Good afternoon. I'm Jamila Erickson, here to bring you the midday interview now. We will start with some piano music by WC, performed by one of my two guests today. This is Georgi Latsabidza at the piano. <laughs> Dancers, music of Claude Debussy here on 91.3 WHQR. And the person you just heard performing is Georgi Latsubidza, who is in town along with his friend Wayne Adams. Georgi will be performing in Wilmington today, so I'm going to be visiting with the two of them now. First of all, welcome. Thank you both for coming. Thank you. Pleasure. Thank you. Oh, wonderful. And you've driven down from Washington, D.C. Yes. today, right? Yes. <laughs> so what time did you start out this morning? Four. Oh, my goodness. A.M. Oh, yeah. my. How did you two meet? Wayne, tell us about that. I was invited to a dinner party in Southern California a few years ago. Yorgi was sitting next to me. That's how we met. And following the dinner, a few of us were invited for drinks at the home of the host in the desert. And at that time, Yorgi played the piano in a way in which it changed my life in a number of ways. I understand that there are people who have never really enjoyed classical music that when they hear him play, change their minds. Sometimes I tell people, bring people who hate the piano. (laughs) Because Yorgi will turn them around. Oh, that's great. (laughs) Now, I thought you were also working on a film together at one point. Is that right? I had just finished making a film as an actor in L.A., Mm -hmm. and uh, I introduced Yorgi then after meeting him to the producer and director, and he was commissioned to score the film. Wonderful. Georgi, tell us a little bit about yourself, where you were born, and where you are now, and how you studied well, I was born in Tbilisi, that's a Republic of Georgia, capital city in the Republic of Georgia. I grew up there in a non-musical family, raised up, then, then moved to Germany later for my further education, then studied in Vienna and Salzburg, uh, and then I got in L.A., and it was in 2005, and finished my doctorate in 2011, so that's... Very short. Yes, <laughs> it way. is. It really is. What age did you begin to study? Study, I began at six, but playing, I began at uh, three. Mm. Yeah. Now, you have sort of a, a multiple career. You are a concert pianist. You also compose, as Wayne mentioned, and you also teach. Talk a little bit about each of those aspects of your professional life, if you would. Well, as a priority, I still would go with the performing because I think uh, that's what I most enjoy. I, I, I feel that I'm obligated to perform, to share my love to the audience, my love to the music. And uh, composing is something that I do with a great pleasure, of course, when I have time. And that's something also I am that I explore myself in the movie industry. Mm-hmm. So I've been doing the scoring movies maybe the uh, last 10 years, yeah. And we've been working together with the Wayne, and that was certainly a wonderful experience. Music contributes so much to a film. I'm often mesmerized by the score when I'm when I'm watching something, and I, I realize how different the film would be without that music. Oh, yeah, of course. It's yeah. such a powerful part of it, and not everybody realizes that. And mm-hmm. I think lots of times in the theater, in the live theater, music is not always chosen as carefully as it could be to enhance the play. And that's something I love to see when somebody locally really does a careful job programming mm-hmm. the, the music, even just the intermission music or the music sure. before the play it begins. Yeah, yeah, It really does have a strong effect. Mm-hmm. So you primarily enjoy giving mm-hmm. concerts and then composing. And you teach a bit as well? I do teach. Uh, I taught at the university. Uh, I taught at different universities in California, but also I 
teach private students. And I give master classes. And I give master classes in Asia, in Europe, in the United States. If you're just joining us, I'm talking with Gigorgi Latsabidza and his friend Wayne Adams, who is uh, functioning on this trip as a producer for the wonderful programs. Is that right, Wayne? I'm You're actually right? managing. You're managing. Yorgi Good. And uh, creating the platform that we trust soon is going to launch his career. Well, you certainly yeah. launched him onto our airwaves here, and it was great to hear from you through Joel Fensel and find out that you're and both so going to be in town. So we're here because of Joel, yep. period. Yep. There's no question about well, that. Well, that's great. <laughs> well, let's talk a little bit now about where you travel to concertize and to teach. You mentioned Europe and Asia, and what are some favorite places you've been able to work? In Asia, uh, I do have favorite places. Those are maybe Japan and Taiwan. Mm -hmm. uh, that is because um, of the discipline and the culture and the respect to the artists. Uh, that's uh, unbelievable and remarkable. I do love Europe, uh, playing in uh, European countries, and uh, also I do love playing in the United States. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Let's talk about the performances that are happening today. Wayne, could you fill us in on what's going on today in Wilmington? Well, at 5 this afternoon, he's going to play a, a short salon concert of his own choosing from the program that he's playing a number of places on the eastern seacoast in these next 11 or 12 days. And then in the evening, he's going to switch to whatever he wants to do with the piano in terms of jazz or rhythm or whatever in two sets, one at 9 and one at 10.15 at Costello's. Costello's Piano <coughs> Bar at 211 Princess. So 5 o'clock and 9 o'clock and 10.15. Very mm -hmm. different programs. Mm -hmm. Do you uh, know yet what you're playing, Georgi, or are you so, just, oh, all right, you, are, you don't in the moment decide, <laughs> oh, I feel like playing Rachmaninoff. <laughs> uh, that's also <laughs> involved, yes. <laughs> yes, spontaneity is always involved. There's something very nice always to have in your habitus, but um, I do plan also before, yeah. So I'll be playing Debussy, Ravel, Chopin, some Mozart, and maybe... As you said, maybe if I'm in a mood, I will add something, or maybe I will not add something. So it <laughs> it's great to have that flexibility yeah, and right. just be yeah. inspired in the moment and gauging audience response, too, and, and see what they're enjoying and give them more of that. Anything else you'd like to say about being a performer, Georgi, and what that means to you and why you're here in Wilmington particularly? You know, I said this many times. I think uh, I love performing because I love so much music, and I do want to share this love to everyone. I don't have any limits. I don't have limits in audience. This is for everyone, for any race, for any orientation, for any age. You said you came from a musical family? Uh, no, I not, don't. Um, not a musical uh, family. My Excuse father me. and my mother, they were engineers. Uh, ah. Right. Ah. Yeah, so. What did they think when you showed oh, such they, a... Oh, they thought I was crazy. And so, uh, But, uh, you know, I, uh, I was uh, five years old when I started composing little pieces, those little sketches, and then they thought that um, they had to bring me to somewhere, you know, to, to the teacher or to the music school. So uh, they did it. And But at 16 years old, I asked myself if I really wanted to pursue with the musical career and the piano. No, but, yeah, I, I found an answer. Yes, I have to, because Wonderful. I love music. Well, their, their meaning his parents' mm -hmm. lives, changed drastically when he was three years old and first encountered a piano. Mm -hmm. I am told that he would not go anywhere with his parents unless they guaranteed that there was a piano <laughs> wherever they that's, were going. That's right, yeah. <laughs> uh, well, you know, I don't remember that, but that's how I know from my they parents. Yeah, I mean, yes. they would not lie to me. So. <laughs> <laughs> that is wonderful. Oh, my gosh. Well, I hope you have a wonderful time while you're here as well as enjoying giving your music to people. Do you have any plans to look around the area while you're here or pretty much just work, work, work? Oh, we don't have time. We've got to get back to Washington, D.C. He's doing a salon there on Saturday in the middle of the day. So, All right. Uh, I wish we had more time, but maybe next time. We're hoping maybe uh, Yorgi can play at Thalian Hall uh, next spring, a year from now. That would We're be great. We're looking into that. So yes, because you have seen it before and how beautiful oh, it yes, is. yes, yes. It's an amazing it theater. It is an amazing play. Well, we're glad to have you in town, both Wayne Adams and Georgi Latsabidza. Thank you so much for coming in today and, and sharing your joy of music with us here on WHQR. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. This is WHQR.